which, which say, I think is very it's, important. You say it's difficult, David. Um, I've cited the fuel and the roads. What other challenges is the, uh, is, is the sector facing? Um, this is a very high cost country, Trevor. Um, and, and one of the problems is the number of, of charges and fees which are levied on transport operators. And it's something which, which the, the TOA has been pursuing for some time. Um, and in fact, I think we can take credit for, uh, although I was uh, merely a committee member, I was not, not in any way directly involved. I think we can take credit for um, stimulating this whole approach on ease of doing business mm. because uh, we made a, a representation to the office of the president of the cabinet saying, look, this is, this is what we're faced with. What can we do to simplify this? Talk, talk, to me, talk to me about the fees. Break them down. What fees are you having to pay? Well, you, you've got the fees you would expect to pay, which are, are, are licenses, mm -hmm. permits, mm -hmm. certificates of fitness and things mm -hmm. like that. But then there's a whole raft of, of, of other things like. which happen mm -hmm. um, at the borders, the, the, the various public health regulations. Um, there's, a, there's a whole string of them. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got I haven't got them locked in my mind, but we're still pursuing. Wow. We're still pursuing um, environmental management um, authority. It's almost as if uh, one pays for the government through one's taxes and then pays again through all these fees. It's a sort of it's a sort of double whammy. Fascinating that you you raise that issue, David, because um, I was speaking to uh, John Robertson on this show. And uh, one of uh, the disincentives to investment that John cited a number of times are these fees mm. that uh, businesses are subjected to, which act as a deterrent to people considering investing into, in, in this country. Is that your sense then? Yes. I mean, if, if, you, if you take the regional market, which is where most Zimbabwean transport operators are, are, are working now, because of, of the constriction of the local economy. The, the rates in those, market, in those markets are, are fixed on a regional basis. Um, and they may be viable for operators from other countries and not viable for operators from Zimbabwe, or less viable. 